Hey guys, I'm Jilajit Das from Techie Geek and today I'll be reviewing Android itself. I mean Android 5.1. So let's check it out. Well guys, today I'll be reviewing Android 5.1 as I earlier told and just it'll be a walkthrough of Android 5.1. All you need to know, all the facts you should know about Android 5.1 and stay updated with Techie Geek. I mean Jilajit Das. Right? It's my channel name. Techie. So, Android 5.1 has overall 14,000 plus changes over Android 5.0 and 4.4.4. So, you can really expect a good performance, good optimizations, and better than any other Android version still now. So, we need to find out. I'll, I'll tell you some of the points which are noticeable or are noticed by me. So, I'll just uh, I'll just explain all that points and so let's enjoy the video right let's move to the video let me tell you what are the points which are needed for your knowledge the first point is about the clock the clock you can see that the upper parts of the clock like you know the clock the alarm the timer and all those will rotate so that's a quite nice feature and quite amazing because it likes quite good animation right so i like i like the animation they did uh, the animation android did with their clock part and other than that the clock is really nice by now and also the clock is having the future of you know default ringtone and smt which are the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday I like that so they have given a quite lot more features to the clock right now by by now so we have other points also so the next is we'll talk about the settings the settings the button at the notification bar has become quite nice by now because the notification button are now moving like a you know wheel it, it moves like a wheel right now uh, because that's really nice. I, I really like that uh, moving of that. So it's 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 really nice. So you you don't any expect any more animations on the settings at least. Because now as Google told before that lollipop is simple but very 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 animated. So that makes Google very good, very good on the Android 5.1. I really like the Android 5.1. Now next is the battery optimization. The battery optimization of Android 5.1 is average not not so much highly optimized than 5.0 or 5.4.4.4 uh, all are same the it depends upon your battery what the battery capacity yes your software can always deduct the usage by the background application but not increase the battery backup you know so it can it can increase by 15 minutes we, uh, because the percentage what the background applications were using it can be used in your daily work so it just in 15 30 minutes you can't expect really more anything now the next is quick toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth the quick toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are really good you know I can see here that the Bluetooth, uh, that the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi at down is having some arrows which can expand to the real settings. So we don't need to go back to the settings menu and on the Wi-Fi or do something with that or with the Bluetooth also the same. So we can do it all from the notification panel. That is really quite nice. Now the next is device protection. The device protection is still not noticed by me on the software part i read it with some users who suggested me this device protection feature of the uh, of 5.1 so i just added it but i have still not noticed where the 5.1 is having uh, device feature if you if you have noticed just say me where it is then i'll search it on on the software and i'll confirm it and the next is priority mode yes the priority mode got some improvements well now the priority mode had had been improved to a next level if you have an alarm set it, then you can use it for the next alarm time when the alarm will ring you can set the priority mode till that so the only thing you uh, the only thing you you can be waked up is the alarm so that's why it rings and now the volume the smart volume but the smart volume which i call it now the volume has now got to another level right now 
it changes upon the situation or the app you are using if you are using an alarm clock it will change to the alarm volume if you are using a music application it will change the music volume if you are using a calling application it will change the calling volume so all volumes are now variable yes even in Android 4.4.4 you are having the same feature but not like in this level it is used now by Google but so much so much they have used it so I really like that point by now now there are the last point which I have noticed till now is the HD voice call HD voice call is good HD voice call is good but the region where I am here and in India uh, our carriers doesn't support HD voice capability still now but I'm sure in America, Indonesia, where wherever the Nexus and Android 1s are launched some places are having HD voice call so you can assure yourself that you will get a very nice call quality like you get from other applications, third party applications which give you good call quality you can really expect Google to force that now the next is the optimization the optimization to Google's this phone has been really nice the Android one has been much more optimized right now with 5.1 I'm really enjoying it because I'm a hardcore Android user I have tested every parts of Android right now on 5.1 and 5.1 is good but not so much improved from 5.0 but it's good so this was the points and the change log of Android 5.1 now I'm gonna give you a real opinion of 5.1 how's it how's the performance and what makes it better than any other Android version still now released so let's check it so guys now I'm gonna give you an opinion for Android 5.1 what makes it better and what are the new features in it as I told you I told you all the new features which I have noticed till now with Android 5.1 I explained that I shown you the examples and I'm gonna give you the opinion what makes it better than any other Android version and is it worth that so yes Android 5.1 words that because in other in the previous versions of Android there were so much animations there were some little bit of like we can say about 4.4.4 .4 it was having animations but like you know animations without steroids and this is animations with steroids there are everywhere there is animation in Android 5.1 or 5.0 lollipop versions there were there are animations in clock settings, uh, recent screen menu. Everywhere you find animations and animations. So you are like surrounded with animations on your phone. Your phone runs a good animation part. You can understand with that. And if your frame, if your phone's frame rates are low, then the animations will lag. But it won't any other lag if your phone is capable of using this version. So now. It makes it better than any other Android versions by the way it is optimized, the way it is fixed and the way user uses. Well, KitKat was a very nice performer like in 2013 when it was released because there were only jelly beans on the market. So you can really expect KitKat to be hit that time and now Android uh, Lollipop is released. So. It is also hit, but you know the fact is that Android Lollipop is not so much published by Google uh, like they did with their 4.4.4 or KitKat versions. They released the KitKat like whoo, with the Nexus 5, and soon they published it everywhere, everywhere. So it really got so much popular. But with the Android 5.0 or Lollipops, it was a uh, different different sales strategy with Google they released in Nexus 6 and Nexus 9 and soon slowly 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 all the phones got it even Nexus 5 and Nexus 7s and all the Nexus series before got some something like later like in December or January type they got the 5.0 update now you can really expect Android 5.0 to be to be updated to Android M or the, or the future versions which have been released but I can say you one thing that the Android M or any other versions on future like at least one or two versions on future will be based a bit off on this Android Lollipop because we can see that Google first announced this black screen or a hollow type theme with their Android uh, ice cream sandwich and soon it was adapted by Android, uh, Android Jelly Bean 
Android KitKat but with something more different from Android uh, 4.0.3 which was ice cream sandwich so we can really expect that even Google will use this material design for their later versions like one or two versions which Google is doing now this really makes a sense on the Android One phones because Android One phones are really cheap and they're getting it and even your Nexus, if you're, if you're a Nexus user, you will get it and you have already got it. Your Nexus 5 has some problems with Android 5.1 so maybe you have not still received or you have received, I, I, I really don't know but in India in some regions still there are users who had, hadn't received 5.1 especially because I think Google is on a rumor that they are releasing Android 5.2 to fix the bugs on Android 4.0.2 uh, for Nexus 5 so Nexus users and Android users give a shout out to Google for releasing a very good software for you and even the other uh, phone manufacturers please adopt this version it's really nice I'm saying to all the OEMs please adopt it man please so it's, it really makes sense now so many people have already suggested me that they're getting another box which is a blue my blue cast on the images even I have got it because I have installed it through you know uh, through zip file which was the official Indian 5.1 ROM for Android 1 which build number is LMY470 that's the official Indian ROM for 5.1 now whenever you on the flash and you're clicking any pure white substance or any paper or any device pure white you will see the flash when it was clicking that time it's really the image quality is really great but when you view that image in the gallery you will see a blue cast on it that's not nice that's a very annoying bug google please fix it we are disappointed with that bug or else the software is really nice and so this was my all you need to know review for Android 5.1 if you like my video please give me a thumbs up if you have any comments if you have any queries please drop the comments below and if you please like my production please give me a subscribe because subscriptions really helps me so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and please 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 comment if you find any other bugs on Android 5.1 so I'll be I'll be really giving you a solution on that bugs if possible if I can do it for my next video. So for today it's over. I'm Tajit Das signing off Techie Geek. So in my next video, you better be in.